Welcome Libras. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. How are y'all? I hope everyone is doing well. Go ahead and click that bell. I'm sorry. Click the like button on the way in. If you're new to the channel, click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, these messages are general. Okay, they may or may not resonate. If you have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you can apply this message as you see fit, right? We're not going to try to stick things where they don't belong. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense because we're adults. You, you know, y'all get it. So, let's get into some things, okay? Let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Libra. What's coming towards Libra? What, what energy is Libra's in right now? All right, we are getting ready to go into Mercury retrograde, guys. Uh, I'm just like not even trying to think about that. Like, uh, let me. Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's get into it, Libras. All right, Libras. What message is there for my Libras? What message is there for Libras? Libras, give me an overall message for Libras, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be kind of like, you know, kind of in selfish mode. You know, it's about me. All right. It's, it's about me. Okay. <laughs> me, baby. <laughs> Remember that. Okay, you could be holding on to something really, really tight. Okay, we got the magician as well. Okay, so maybe you're manifesting. We got the hermit. Mm hmm. You're looking out for you. Some of you have been keeping to yourself, okay? Because you're trying to manifest something here. You're trying to manifest something here. All right. What else? Mm, four of cups. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. You don't want to rush. You don't want to rush into to anything right now. You're not trying to rush or be forced into anything right now. Okay. I definitely see that. Like I feel like you're keeping your distance from someone or people in general. Like you're not trying to be forced into doing nothing. Yeah, because something ended here okay ten of swords and the eight of cups yeah you want something new you want something new like that old energy uh yeah going on out and with the new okay mm -hmm. future energy the seven of swords in reverse seven of swords reversed all right I don't like seeing the Seven of Swords and the Magician in the reading, okay? Because that lets me know that there's a little manipulation, a little bit of trickery going on, all right? Hmm. I'm getting that you guys are keeping your distance. I'm not sure if it's because somebody pissed you off or you're disappointed that there was an ending here in the past. Let's see what's going on. Why is the four of pentacles here? Okay. The higher fan. It's in the reverse. Somebody possibly kept giving you, uh, been lying and telling you that they're going to give you a commitment. They're going to give you a ring. They're going to give you this. They're going to give you that. I think it's, for some of you guys, somebody possibly been saying that they're going to give you a ring. That we're going to get engaged, that we're going to get married, or we're going to be in a committed relationship. Why is the half friend here? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. I'm feeling like it's possibly like a ring or something that, that makes you feel, you know, I'm getting a commitment, a marriage. Okay, let's see. Why is, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here for Libras? Okay. Yeah, see, look. 
Okay, Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is definitely like a marriage a or something involving stability. Okay. I'm definitely getting a marriage. Okay. Somebody kept saying that they want to get married or there's an engagement, but I'm getting okay. Why is there why is the the hermit card here? There could be a Virgo involved. Okay. Hmm. Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm getting like looking for something new. Looking for a new uh some of you may be looking for a new apartment. Some of you may be looking for a new job. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, keep hesitating. Somebody's hesitating. Like, so you, okay, so maybe someone keeps promising you that they're going to do this, they're going to do that. We're going to move into, we're going to move in together. We're going to get married. We're going to get engaged. But then you, like, their actions aren't matching what they're saying, okay? Because I'm getting, like, someone's distancing themselves and being hesitant. And I, I feel like things are going, are on hold, okay? Or you're waiting for somebody to ask you, you know. You're waiting for someone to ask you their opinion on something with the Seven of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? King of Wands. You don't like somebody's actions, okay? You don't like some the way somebody's moving or how somebody thinks or you don't you you don't approve of it. King of Wands could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay. Okay, I got the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? But I'm getting that there is communication. You're going to be telling someone that you're not approving. Okay, the Queen of Cups could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio involved, okay? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Is somebody still married here? Are you trying to find out if somebody's still married here? So I'm getting that too. Like somebody could be trying to find out if somebody's still married. Now the Four of Pentacles and yeah, like it's, it's somebody still married here. You're trying to find that out because you don't approve of something. You don't like something. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Because I feel like you're going to, yeah, the Three of Swords. Okay, so maybe if you're trying to find out if somebody is broken up. Um, yeah, see, look at this. <laughs> you're trying to find out the truth here. The Ace of Swords, or you want the truth to come out. Something was supposed to have ended in the past, or something did end, and somebody left. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah. Someone wasn't ready for something, somebody wasn't prepared, um, and somebody left, okay? We got the Lovers here, could be a Gemini, but there was a decision. Somebody told somebody that they left, Okay. I'm getting it now. Eight of Wands and the Lovers. Somebody told somebody that they that the plan and everything was off. Somebody cut off the plan. Whatever whatever was planned, it ended. Okay. Why is the Two of Wands here? Tell me why the two of wands is here. Yeah. Something about the truth, okay? So you're ready to hear the truth here on why someone left or what happened, okay? Because somebody is reckless, okay? Somebody made an irrational decision to leave. And now you're ready to hear the story. You're ready to know why. 
Okay, so why we got the Seven of Swords in reverse? Okay, Seven of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords reverse for future energy. You're going to find out that somebody lied about their past. Okay, somebody lied about their past. Okay, with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. You're going to find out that somebody is a liar and a sneak and a cheat and a bastard. Okay. Something was a big show. Your intuition may have been telling you to wait this out, that the truth would come out. That somebody is afraid and they're running around like a little ass kid. Woo, what's coming out? Why is the Six of Cups here? This person passed, okay? There's a lot of confusion, okay? There's something about a decision that they made, somebody made in the past. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, somebody's a player. You gonna find out the truth about this about this bastard? <laughs> okay. Somebody got a lot of options and they're doing a lot of playing. Okay. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Mm, yeah, moon. Didn't I tell you? The truth is going to come out about this person, okay? The truth going to come out. It's going to finally come out about this person. Because somebody, you're going to find out the truth about somebody. The truth going to come out. Mm -hmm. What message do you have for my Libras? It might be exposed during this Mercury retrograde. Give me a message for my Libras, please. Thank you. All right, so we got Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives, okay? Unbound. Somebody's releasing. You're releasing something. You're releasing some a contract or releasing somebody. Okay. Somebody's getting ready to come out of the cave and share their voice. Okay. It's going to possibly be at some type of gathering or group gathering. And this comes out. Okay. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, the information is in the drop box below. And I will talk to y'all later.